Time now for this week's mental health moment. For many Maine children who struggle with the highest level of mental health and behavioral challenges, they either have to be sent out of state to secure residential treatment facilities as far away as Arkansas and Utah, or they get stuck with long stays in emergency rooms and hospitals because there's no place for them to receive care. Here with us to discuss what can be done to address this shortage is Sweet Source President and CEO Jane Van Bramer. Jane, thank you so much for coming here to uh, discuss this important topic. What is, in your mind, the best way for Maine to address this and help these kids out? So Maine needs psychiatric residential treatment facilities, or PRTFs. They're secure therapeutic residences that provide psychiatric care and treatment to Maine youth who have Maine care coverage. So these residences are actually less restrictive than an inpatient hospitalization, but they are a safe alternative for those kids who have a severe emotional disorder and really required a locked, structured clinical setting. You know, it, it's important to understand that Maine is an outlier here. 35 other states operate PRTFs. Instead, Maine sends children to other states for these services. When there are providers such as Sweetser who are perfectly capable of operating these programs simply with some help from the state. Yeah, and you guys do an incredible job. So what is the need for a secure facility for these kids? Well, because some of these children are really too dysregulated to function in an open door traditional residential program, these kids are rejected by our residential providers here in Maine. This leaves the families with very few options. So the result is these children languish for days, for weeks, sometimes even months in hospital emergency rooms, in windowless rooms. I know of one ch case where a child waited 181 days. Oh or <laughs> they're stuck in an inpatient hospital setting without a discharge plan. So, you know, inpatient care is the most expensive and most restrictive care we offer. You know, Sweetser does believe that these children should be served in the community when it is safe and appropriate to do so. But there is also a need for this level of care for a PRTF in Maine. And the provider community understands and supports this need and even does the State Department of Health and Human Services. Mm -hmm. And you kind of alluded to, to this already about cost, but is that kind of the biggest thing that prohibits a program like this from exist existing here in Maine so far? Absolutely. There are two major concerns. One is the rate structure and the other is capital costs. So the Department of Health and Human Services have been working on revising the rate structure so it matches what's actually needed to operate and sustain such a program. And we're hoping to get those new rates this summer. But the capital costs are also significant. You either have to build a new building or retrofit or rehab an existing structure. To make this safe and up to PRTF standards, you need new doors, new windows, upgraded security systems, fire suppression systems. You know, we need it to meet the PRTF standards so the kids are safe, but also that it's safe for the staff. I mean, the good news is, is just this week, the legislator, the Health and Human Services Committee, unanimously across the board, everyone voted yes let's get, let's establish a PRTF in Maine and let's fund the capital costs. But what needs to happen now is the Appropriations Committee needs to dedicate the funds to establish and to fund the capital costs associated with a PRTF. So we're asking folks to reach out to their legislative liaisons, reach out to members of the Appropriations Committee and ask them to support the funding of a PRTF. It is time to bring Maine children back to Maine. It is time to get them out of the emergency room. Let's get these children the services they need in the right setting so that they can have safe and secure and healthy futures. Well said, Jane. And Jane Van Bramer, President and CEO of Sweetser, thanks so much for being here today again. Thank you so much. All right.